I'm not going to say this is a new technique that has been discovered by me, but yeah, I just discovered this technique and so far so good, it's been working great on my images. I posted some images on my Instagram story just to make sure people can tell the difference between a particular image I dodged and burned and another particular image I also did the same dodging and burn, but with an extra technique and I got people saying they weren't different, some also said they were different. Right, in today's video, I'll just be showing you guys the kind of dodging burning technique I have found out recently and I really want to share it to you guys just so that you can also learn. So, no, no, I'm going to name this video Dodging and Burning under 3 minutes or Dodging and Burning by Selection. Right, this image I shot in 2019 and I had a lot of time to sit down to do my normal Dodge and Burn correction where I match skin tones and lighting tone variations or inconsistencies with um, the Chaos layer and also I did some skin tone correction with the hue check layer that I just uploaded a video I'm going to leave a link up here just go watch that learn how to do um, or learn how to correct skin tone inconsistencies and also get a free action from that yeah I didn't mention in the previous video but yeah I have a free action for that so you can go check that said video and get that particular free action all right so I really wanted to make this quickly and easy as possible so I went along to download this to help us in our journey today let's take a look at this model right here beautiful makeup beautiful subject beautiful skin well beautiful retouch let's just leave it as that right and if we should take a look at the head and the face uh let's see let's compare it to what we have here which one do you think we'll go for personally i've been going over oblong face and oval face for a while so I really don't know which one but I feel like I'll go with oblong face because uh, is there a reason why I'm going with an oblong face? Um, I feel like it's more oblong than oval. What do you guys think? It's oblong because I feel like this um, the cheekbone here is speaking to me a lot. That, that's, what, that's what I feel like the oblong is all about. And also some around the chin. Okay, well the chin will be a definitive choice when you're looking at this said image because if you take a look at the chin it's not as round as what we see here in the oval right i downloaded this particular face shape collection from google i'm just going to i don't know should i leave a link down there yeah i'm just going to leave a link to this i'll upload it and leave a link there. it's not mine i just downloaded it also from google right so let's just get into it Dodging and bending by selection. If you take a look at the oblong face, all you're looking at is um, you're telling us this color is for the highlights and that's for the contour. So for the contours, you're looking at under the cheek, the chin, and right above the forehead. And we just highlight the cheeks. The reason being, okay, I think I know why. The reason being, if you take a look at this image, already on the forehead, you feel like there's more of like a highlight. All you need to do is just introduce that definition on the top of the forehead, underneath the cheek and the chin. Then you're good to go. So what I what I have realized so far is to, I'll pick my lasso to make sure my feather is of five, right? Then you don't need a Wacom tablet for this, or you don't need a graphics tablet for this. All you need to do is just make the selection. So we'll start with the contour first, right under the cheek this way, right? I hold shift on the keyboard just to add another selection. So immediately I hold shift, you realize there's a plus sign along the curves of the lasso too. When I release it goes away when i hold option or alt you get a minus sign so we want to add then i'll add another one here right then run right under here let me make the selection correctly so for the purpose of the tutorial if any selection is not well made please pardon me and we'll do one right above the forehead Right, these are the contour areas you're looking out for. I can also go in for the nose, this part of the nose also. Then yeah, maybe just add these dark areas just to bring the definition to the said image. So quickly, I'm just going to pick up the curves adjustment too. Then what I will do next is to pull down because I want to burn, right? Contour is more like burning, so that's what I get. Don't, don't 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 be frightened or don't get scared this is not where you're going to leave it at the next thing i'll do is to go to filter blur gaussian blur then make sure i pick a value to which 
this can blend out very easily so i'll go with 40 or uh, yeah let's go let's go with 40 for now all right you're still going to get this what i will do again is to make sure i keep on adding the set effect i have added which is the gaussian blur so i'll add another gaussian blur to this it blurs it out keep on adding to the point where it blends accurately for me so let's see how many times yeah and i feel like this is making a very great point next i'll do is to make sure i just reduce the opacity of course you guys already knew that i was going to do that the next i'll add that for the highlights when i turn that back on you see it's just the cheek area so make sure i do the selection correctly all right then hold shift and add the side also create a curves adjustment move it up and then add the same effect from the gaussian blur which is if, if you have to repeat an action we've already done alt ctrl f or option command and f on mac so alt ctrl f keep on applying so i feel like i'm okay so let me show you the history this is after we created a new curves layer and these are the number of times i've applied the gaussian blur i'll reduce the opacity then i'll group the two All right rename this to g d and b global dodging and burning toggle between this off and on what you also have to know is that the moment you blur it out it fades or it bleeds into the background so we want just it to affect just the face right so i'll come back to the background make sure i pick up my selection to select subjects and what the photoshop 2021 is good at us making sure you have a very good selection of your subjects then i'll create a mask on the set folder i have created then that's that it won't bleed into the background anymore it's just going to be on my subject and my subject alone and if i feel like it's too much i can also reduce the opacity of the group then i'm good to go so that should be that for today's video that's how the selection dodging and bending goes if you're new here make sure you subscribe before you leave or consider subscribing because i feel like you're going to learn a lot and improve your craft if you learn a lot from my youtube channel thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe as usual if you're old and you haven't subscribed yet leave a question now in the question box or the comment section below if you have any questions concerning this video anything you don't understand i'll just get right to it and i'll see you in my next video peace